Well, as you know, CO2 is a gas indispensable to life because uh, trees grow thanks to CO2. The problem today is that we have got too much of it in the atmosphere because we are burning fossil fuels to create uh, the energy that we need for our everyday life. If you accept that fossil fuels are going inevitably to remain part of the power generation mix for the next several decades, then you have to take the carbon out of fossil fuel generation. Fortunately, you can do that, or you will be able to do it very soon, through a technology that captures the CO2 emissions from power generation, buries them underground and stores them for very long periods of time. Carbon capture and storage um, is likely to play a critical role at a global level in the uh, fight to reduce greenhouse gas emissions because we will be dependent on fossil fuels for a while to come. Carbon capture and storage is a reality today. Uh, as I speak, we have uh, demonstration units that are capturing and storing uh, CO2. The primary reason for Alstom picking post-combustion and oxy technologies um, for capturing CO2 is basically that those two technologies are retrofitable. They are adaptable to the uh, installed base. And we thought this was the first priority in terms of uh, development was to be able to address the installed base. Post-combustion is a process whereby we remove CO2 after uh, combustion. It's basically do, done through uh, the washing of the flue gas with a liquid that catches the CO2 and then releases it and such that we can transport it and, and store it. Oxycombustion is about combusting the fuel with uh, oxygen and that makes uh, a concentrated stream of CO2 that can then be compressed and, uh, and recovered for storage. Well, the chilled ammonia process is a post-combustion process. So it's a process that is installed on the flue gas of a power plant, whereby we wash uh, the flue gas with a, a solvent. Now, that solvent contains uh, ammonia, and we have a series of uh, chemical reactions there that catches the, the CO2. Those uh, reactions are re reversible, and we have a column that we call the regenerator, where we regenerate the, the ammonia solvent and can, can extract a pure uh, CO2 uh, ready for uh, storage. Well, the most credible uh, storage option we have is uh, underground uh, storage. This is uh, the geological burial uh, of the CO2 in sedimentary uh, basins, uh, where you have saline uh, water present uh, with limestone or sandstone. And the geologists uh, tell us that uh, you can uh, safely inject CO2 in those uh, formations. Another option is to use depleted uh, oil and gas uh, reservoirs. Those reservoirs are usually uh, fully characterized by the oil and gas industry and are also safe places to dispose of the CO2. The advanced amine uh, process is also an important process that uh, Alstom is uh, developing. Uh, the difference between chilled ammonia and amine is, is the solvent uh, itself. Uh, otherwise, the principle is, is the same, is the washing uh, of the flue gas with a solution that catches the, the CO2. That CO2 is then released through uh, regeneration and the solvent is uh, recycled. The scale of the challenge is so great and the cost of what we need to do is so great that we have to try and get the most cost-effective technologies and we have to try and get as many of those technologies into operation as quickly as we can. I am absolutely convinced that we can do it from a technological point of view. My organisations have been looking at roadmaps and technical steps towards achieving those goals um, and as engineers we don't see impediments. Well, by end of this year, Alstom will have six uh, major demonstrations uh, up and running. Uh, we are at one-tenth of what is needed to validate the technology uh, commercially. We have established uh, roadmaps to develop the technologies and um, we expect to be commercial with the first uh, solution by 2015 uh, for post-combustion solution and soon after with uh, oxy-combustion. All the evidence which is out there 
from independent and credible anal analysts suggests very clearly that we cannot get down to the sorts of levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere that we need to achieve in order to stabilize the climate without carbon capture and storage as part of the portfolio of measures and indeed quite a significant part. Well, CCS uh, is an indispensable uh, piece of the puzzle to meet uh, the climate change challenge. It will, however, take an unprecedented uh, collaborative uh, effort between governments, the industry and the public at large.